everyone, it's Els here on Technique Friday. Today I'll be showing you how to assemble the Planner Essentials 24 photo frame pages. And I also use the Christmas Garden Clear stamp set. So um, this is the die set I'm using. So this is the photo frame, um, the Planner Essentials 24. So you see it's a double one. So you will find it in the packaging front and back because we have like the solids here and we have the overlay here. And then of course all those cool elements in there. So we have a little film strip. This has pieces of life, selfie, bottle of wine, like a decorative element. Uh, this says today. Uh, here another decorative element, photo corners, and here it says cheers. So a super, super cool set to work with. Uh, so I'm just going to show you, uh, so this is the kind of the overlay. So I already die cut that and I already made a back page as well. So here I use the stem from Charlene. I'm going to put some winter pictures in there. And this is the brands I'm using here. So I stamped that with Versamark and then embossed it with an embossing with some glitter in it. So it's a beautiful, beautiful set to work with. Here I already created the page. And let me show you because I have, I have several new ones in here. So this is actually a new uh, die set as well from Esther. And then here you see that same die set used. And then a pocket here. So this is another one. So with uh, holiday pictures from Portugal. I was in Portugal actually. And uh, it's a super, super fun set to work with here. That's also that's when we visited the kids. And that, so that's the page I'm going to use. So I'm going to take it out. So you can actually do this, of course. But take this out. I'm going to take the vellum one out as well. Uh, so this is the vellum page I stamped and this is going to be on here. So when I die cut, I die cut it with the tape on the back because I think that's easy. Um, you can also use like a regular, like a, a tape runner or, or no, not a tape runner, like a thin tape. Our three millimeter tape is perfect for this as well. But I just like to uh, cut the full page with tape on the back. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to kind of remove this and you see this is a kind of a thinner tape this is from a i think yeah this is one of the cash register books that i have here and i'm just going to fold this backwards and then i can attach my pictures so um yeah for me this this works very easy but you know you will figure out what's what uh, works well for you so i make sure that i have it the right way Probably has some glue on my finger. So then I'm going to use pictures. So these pictures I printed with the selfie printer, the Canon selfie. And I didn't use the Canon app for this. I, uh, the Picolage, I used the uh, print to size. So th there's probably all possibilities with all different uh, apps. But this is the print to size. So I could exactly print the page. Although I have to say, if you say it's six, six centimeters, which this inside is. Uh, it comes out a little bit larger, but this works perfect for me. So then you trim it out. So here I have pictures. Let me see. I think we're going to do... This was just a beautiful winter day uh, on the mountain. Love this one with the... So that's uh, three pictures. And you're going to start... You see this? So this is a full picture. So you're going to start with this one. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to lean in a bit forward to get it nice and straight in there. So you attach it and you, you just drop it, you see? So now I have it here. Then I need to attach a little, I need to put a little bit of tape here again when I put it on this page, but I will do that uh, later. And uh, so now I have the second one. So the only piece I need to put a little bit of tape is here because that's going to overlap. And I think I might actually, let's see, because this, I kind of want to see what I'm doing here. So I got that one. Because you're missing, so you're going to miss that little corner of the picture. And here I'm going, yeah, so I'm going to put this one on the top because I think that fits nicer. Always make sure, of course, you put it in correct. So you lay it down and then you just drop it. So that's the second. And then for the third one, I'm going to put a little piece of tape there. Again, just put it down and then drop it, you see? So now I'm, you see, so now I have the pictures here. Then I will remove the rest of the liner. And then I'm going to add some tape here. Because of course I use the tape from the frame for the pictures. So you need to add a little bit of tape again. And then I'm going to 
remove all these. Okay, so now I take my vellum page and I'm going to line it up. Okay, so that's it. So I leaned in a little bit to put it on there and then I'm going to finish it with, um, I actually did see I didn't line it up perfectly, but that's always fine because it does need to be perfect. And then I'm going to take little reinforcements. And I kind of took them out of a natural color and I wanted to keep it uh, like a uh, small reinforcements because it's really about the pictures here and uh, and then you can write on it of course you can write on the little frames here if you want to but I think this is going to be a simple page and then I will show you because you can work on the back of course because this is vellum so it will show um, you will see the tape on the back so later on I'm going to decorate the back as well but you see this nice because kind of the color from the wood comes back and this would make a really nice Christmas page as well. But people that know me know I love snow. So for me, this was just a perfect day in beautiful Colorado. There we go. And I might leave it with this because I like here that I see the, uh, that I see the stamp there. So because I used vellum, you will see I need to decorate the back as well. I will do that later. But what you do for that, so you cut a solid and you can actually put your solid on here, depending on what you want to do, of course. But you can put your solid on here. And then, so this is the die set. So normally what I have on the front here, let me show you. I put my die on the cardstock side and I run it through. So then I have this one. But on the back, you have it mirrored. So what you need to do then, you actually put your die on the tape side. And here's the cardstock. So you put it on the tape side. And now I have a perfect die cut that I can put on here, you see? And then I can decorate the back. So I might do some stamping there as well. But now I can make a page that has two sides. So this one and this one. So that's a fun thing, and it's of course because I use vellum, if you use a solid cardstock, uh, you don't need to do that. But in the vellum case, which I think is really pretty here, I need to finish it on the back as well. Thank you for watching. You can find more inspiration on our Facebook page, Facebook groups and Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on our latest videos. See you next time.